Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can make your own quadcopter just like this. I'll be showing you how all the connections that uh, you need to do to make the with the KK 2.1.5 board and all other connections and even the programming of the KK 2.1.5 board. So now uh, with this being said let us get directly into the video so here I am using the F450 frame and this frame has a internal power distribution board so what I have done is if you can see here what I have done is I have directly soldered my ESCs to the board and then I soldered a Dean connector as you can see here so so in this video I'll not be showing you how you can do the connections for the power distribution board and so for, let's start by first doing the receiver connections so I'll be taking out all the wires in this video I'll, in this quadcopter I'm using the FSCT 6B transmitter and the stock receiver that comes with it so let us do the connections for that and take out all the wires first okay. with the KK board you get these two wires that is one wire uh, one wire that has three ends and another wire that is a normal wire so here the in the kk on the kk board the left side is the pins on the left side are the input pins and the pins on the right side are the output pins these ones uh, so let us start first take this wire as you can see here there are the wires that have three different colors the white one is the signal wire the red one is the positive wire and the black one is the ground or the negative wire and even on the kk board if you can see here the pin on the left hand side this one is the negative pin the middle one is the positive and the right hand side one is the signal so we will connect accordingly connect this wire to the topmost pin in the correct order just like this then take the other end and connect it to the first channel on your receiver the, in my receiver the signal pin is on the left hand side the positive pin in, is in the middle and the uh, ground pin is on the right so i'll connect it to channel one on my receiver so here i have connected that and on my kk 2.1.5 board and the receiver the channel one is the channel one on the kk 2.1.5 board channel two is the channel two on the board and you can see the manual that comes with the transmitter receiver to see which pin uh, which channel matches with the kk2.1.5 board so now we take this other wire this one and now we have to connect that vertically to the signal pins of channel 2 3 and 4 so we connect that and the signal pins is the signal pin is the left hand side pin so i connected just like this vertically as you can see here here the color does not matter so now as you can see the black one the black wire is connected to channel 2 so we'll take the black wire and connect it to channel 2 just like this and again on the kk board the signal pin is on the right hand side so that's why i have connected it there now the third channel here is the red wire so we'll take the red wire and connect it to channel number three just like this so here i've connected 
channel 3 to the channel 3 and here the white wire is the channel 4 so I connected to channel 4 so here I have connected it to channel number 4 these are the basic connections for the receiver to the board that we have done and the board does not comes with the wire that we need to connect the auxiliary pin to our board as you can see there is a fifth input channel on the board also but that's for auxiliary and i am not using any auxiliary on the, my this quadcopter so i'll not be using that and now these were the connections for the receiver now we'll do, we'll be doing the connections for the motors to the board or the escs to the board so first of all the here uh, no you can't see the motor comes out uh, the motor has three wires the black the yellow and the red it doesn't matter to what pin to what uh, what why you connect on the esc the order does not matter okay so here i've just connected the pins and the esc comes the esc has, has three wires on the other ends that is the bec this wire this is called the battery eliminating circuit wire and the positive and the negative i have soldered these both to my power distribution board that is inbuilt on my uh, quadcopter frame and so i've done this for all the four escs as you can see here okay the KK 2.1.5 board also comes with a buzzer so this is the pin of the buzzer okay now we'll be doing the connections of the motor so let us take out the wires first so here i've taken out the wires so first of all the the board the front this is the front of the board and also the front of the quadcopter so if this is the front of the quadcopter this will be the first motor this will be the second motor this will be the third motor and this will be the fourth motor so we'll connect the first motor bec that is this one to our board and on the uh, and here also there are three wires the signal the positive and the negative and on the board as you can see the s is written on the left hand side 5 volts on the middle and negative on the right hand side so we will connect it to that so this the motor once goes on the connects to the motor one pin this is my second motor that connects to the second motor pin just like this Okay. this is the third motor pin and BEC that connects to the third motor pin just like this but here my board has had the blank screen error so that's why the fourth ESC have connected it uh, the signal wire of the uh, fourth e, uh, BEC ESC I'll connect to the signal pin but the positive and the negative wires of this ESC I have connected to the flashing pins because the board was not taking 5 volts from these pins or even the battery pin there this one so that's I have connected here but you if uh, your in your board you have to connect this wire to the fourth ESC wire fourth output wire sorry okay so these were the connections and i've used here some zip ties to make the connections neater and now the connections are all done now let us let us program the kk 2.1.5 okay so now i am powering up the kk 2.1.5 board so here it is powered Lose connection. So, 
here my frame quadcopter frame has a inbuilt power distribution board so i have just soldered all the esc's output that is the positive and the negative wire to the frame and then soldered a dean connector as you can see here so i just have to connect the battery to the dean connector and the uh, kk 2.1.5 board will get powered up so now let's do the program of the KK 2.1.5 board. When you power, now I am powering up the KK 2.1.5 board. So here you hear a loud beep and here it's written safe. Now let us jump directly into the menu. So first of all you have to go down and do the factory reset but here i will not be doing this because i have already pro uh, programmed it and i will just be showing you so first you have to do the factory reset so now we will go to the top so here the first option that you see is the pi editor just enter that so here the values for the roll or the aileron are the P gain is 75, the P limit is 50, the I gain is 40, the I limit is 20. You can tune these values according to you but these values are that that I have programmed. Now the pitch or the elevator the values remain same and for the yaw or the rudder the P gain is 75, the P limit is 20. The I gain is 30 and I limit is 10. So the, now we exit this menu. Now you can do the receiver test by binding your transmitter to the receiver. So let us do that. Now I'll switch on my transmitter as and now you can see the values. Here the throttle is going up. Now down, right, left, up, forward, backward, left, right. Okay, so here the receiver is also working. Now we go down to the mode settings. Here there are a ton of settings. Now you'll have to first of all we'll adjust the self level that when you go into the self level it will be aux. But now you have to tune it to always. Now the other things just remain the same. Now we'll back out. Now we'll go to the stick scaling. Stick scaling actually means what sensitivity you want to set of your uh, sticks on the transmitter. So here I have set these settings. The roll is 10, pitch is 10, yaw is 10 and throttle is 90. Okay, now we go to miscellaneous settings 1. Here the minimum throttle as set as 10, you can set it as 0 or 20, whatever suits you the best. And other settings remain the same. Now we go down into miscellaneous settings 2. Here spin on arm will be no, you have to enable that. Only after that your board will be armed. And then let's go down. Miscellaneous settings 3, okay. Now the self level settings, you go in here, the P gain you have to set is 40, P limit is 30, then there is no trim on roll or pitch, you can trim this if your quadcopter is moving in a particular direction. Now you, I am not using a camera in this uh, quadcopter so I will not be uh, showing you how to do those settings. You don't have to go in this MPU6050 settings. Now the sensor test, you can test your sen sen uh, sensors, as you can see all the sensors are working. Let us go down, sensors max. and now you will have to do the ACC calibration. What that means is just enter that and make sure that your quadcopter is on a leveled surface. Now just press continue. Now it is calibrating, it takes 5 seconds. As you can see, 
the actually the x and the y values have to be same for the uh, quadcopter to be stable can recalibrate it it's calibrating and x is 513 and y is 516 it doesn't matter that's the small Graph the receiver channel map, then you go to uh, load motor layout. You press enter now. You select whatever curve. Now, here I am making a quadcopter X mode, so I select that enter. Then it asks you, Are you sure? Yes, so now it shows the direction of the motors. First motor is clockwise, second anti clockwise, third clockwise, four counter clockwise. Okay, so let us back out now you can also select the show motor layout to confirm okay. motor 7 motor 5 motor 4 motor 3 motor 2 motor 1 okay now output sliders okay till are they all are working and endpoint gamuts is you can select these endpoint limits the, what they mean are actually if you don't want your throttle to go up then 50% then you can select here these 1 2 3 4 are different channels and if you are using the mode 2 transmitter uh, you can read the manual of a transmitter to know which channel is it and you can then change it here then okay now we you also have to calibrate the ESCs. Now for that you just switch off. You just power off. Don't power the KK board. Okay. Then you take your transmitter. Then you take your transmitter. Keep it down here. Power it on. Just like this. And set it set its throttle on high then you connect okay. now here what you do is then you connect the and then you power up the board by holding the first and the last switch so here i'll power it power it up just like this okay. As I was also recording, it did not work. I'll try it again. First and the last switch. Oh, the battery is not okay. Now, as you can see, it is written throttle pass through. When you hear the first beep, then lower down your throttle to zero, just like this. Then, when you hear the three beeps, just release this. And now your ESCs are calibrated. Now you can switch off your transmitter. And now your board is programmed. It is showing error here because I have switched off the receiver, the transmitter, as you can see here. Yeah. And now you can go out for a test flight and see. Okay. Oh, thank you for watching.